Hi, I'm Austin. And I'm Dan. And we're here to play games. In the water. Water. Yes. <laughs> Welcome back to The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker. I'm going to go ahead and let this cycle through. Um, HD. Last time. In the uh, Tower of the Gods. Yeah, yeah go ahead. <laughs> yeah, last time we finally finished all of our collection. We turned in our pearls to the different um, statues got exploded <laughs> got exploded ended yeah. up in here so now yeah. we are exploring the tower of the gods yeah, we were told I'm... that we needed to prove our courage yeah I'm very intrigued ooh Oh, these are explodable walls, huh? Yup. Nice. You get to witness Austin's ability to kind of plow through a Zelda dungeon once again here. Yeah. It's been a minute. It's nice to do something a little, little back on track. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Oh. So is prove your courage roughly analogous to prove your puzzle solving skill? Might be. Oh. Ooh. Thank you. Wow. I'm surprised that worked. I'm going to be honest. Yeah, that was like a flurry of stuff happening there. <laughs> <laughs> so it's the logic on blowing up these walls. There's just stuff behind them. Yeah. Uh, one of these has a map, I'm pretty sure. Uh, uh, but some of this is. The yeah, there it is. Yeah. But some of it is also just habit of previous playing. Sure. So. Gotta explore all the rooms. Of course. Ah, dungeon map. Excellent. Yeah, we'll get another Tingle statue here, too. Ooh, awesome. Oh. Yeah, so I've... Oh, hey. Zappy boys. What are they Go doing? Go over here. <laughs> Strikes me that you may not want to get hit by those when you're in the water. Well, especially since you can't stun them. That's about the only way you can hit them is once they're stunned. Uh, have a bomb. Oh, took care of that. Sure did. That worked out bomb. even better than I thought it would. That other alcove just had a couple pots in it. Yeah. Yep. Okay. We're going to move on to this side. So, I'm very interested to see what's going to come of this tower. We've been kind of building to it for a while, not the least because we've done some, uh, you know, exploring side quest stuff um, and just kind of generally getting powered up. Um, so, we've kind of gotten the equivalent. I'm, I'm kind of going off of the template, Ocarina of Time, right? So, we've got our spiritual stones. And so, we're to the point of getting to our next step. Um, Makes me wonder what we will get next. What what's what how we're going to be charged with our next task here. Yeah, there'll be there's a couple of fun things to get here. We'll get a new item. Um but we will also get a new song as well. Ooh, excellent. Yeah. Oh right, this area. <laughs> uh I like the little boxes, they just kinda pop up. Yeah, yeah, they do. Surface. It's not. Oh. You waiting for it to go back down? Yeah. Ah, okay. Can't remember what the exact puzzle resolution here was. There we go. Uh, oh. There's a room where I have to like line up boxes and run across them. Oh, uh, I see. So I couldn't remember if that was this room or a different one. Okay, so the water has to go down and make the bridge. <clears throat> I see. Yep. It's a cool looking bridge. Yeah, this one's got some hmm. cool things happening with it. Look at the shiny. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, a little alka. Gate. 
It's an interesting dungeon so far. You got some um, navigation on your ship and like little mini dungeons inside. Little mini puzzle room. They, they strike me sort of like the, uh, what are they in Breath of the Wild? The Oh, like the shrines? Yeah, the shrines. That's what I was looking for. Yeah. Yeah. A little bit. Like not exactly the same, but yeah. That make that makes sense that you would think that. In fact, this whole area is very interesting. Mm -hmm. Um well, you asked earlier with like all the carvings and stuff were on the surface. Yeah. And uh I don't really know. But Oh, okay. Um, as I'm sure you've noticed, we haven't really seen any Shika this entire time. That's true. And so in I fact, think I think yeah, there's some ahead. theory that that this is perhaps a tower built by the Sheikah at the behest uh, of the gods. That's um, interesting. To test the hero to see if they're worthy of the blessing that the goddesses could bestow. Huh. Right, because this is during a time when the hero of time just wasn't around. Sure, yeah. I mean, he went back. It's, it's very interesting that there seems to be a... Uh, I don't know a good way to put it, but a, a temporal issue where, you know, the the cycle of reincarnation might might have been interrupted, as it were. Yeah. Um, by the by, the time travel of the hero of time. That that seems to be the case. Um, yeah. And there is other elements of stuff we'll encounter here mm. in the story that I think will lend some credence to that assumption. Okay. Oof. That was close. <laughs> was. There we go. It's a reasonably precise jumping there. Yeah, I could have made the jump path a little smoother. Yeah. But... <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There we a go. key! Doodle -doo. Excellent. Be helpful later. Yeah. Um... All right, we'll see you guys later. Have fun. <laughs> Very interesting that that is termed an assumption because, yeah, it's we certainly don't have all the direct evidence for it yet. But the people have been waiting for the hero to return. Um, and in addition, we haven't seen Sheikah. We haven't seen the Zora. Right. We haven't, we haven't seen Goron's... Um, Yeah, and those are kind of the classic um, uh, cultures, races of, yeah. of Ocarina of Time. Right, people groups. People groups, yeah. Indeedy. Certainly raises questions. I'm a fan of how okay, what I'll... is not being said is saying almost as much as what is being said. Yeah. Very that was, intriguing. That was the wrong button. <laughs> ah. Interesting. We'll have to come back here. What do we got here? The compass. compass. Excellent. Yeah. We once we get the dungeon item, we'll come back here and we'll open up the other. Oh. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, anybody that's played Ocarina of Time or 3D Zelda probably knows what dungeon item that is. Yep. <laughs> yep. No secrets here. Yep. Um. Yeah, I actually haven't played any 2D Zeldas at all. Um. That might be interesting because I know they they occupy a very specific area of kind of the, the timeline, the, the the multiverse or yeah, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Which there's a oh. lot of like um, mixed feelings about the timeline. People feel yeah. like it was just kind of shoved together last minute, but uh, as uh, you know, as the video I showed you before, there's. It's really not true, because like when you look at the breakdown of like the books and stuff of the different uh, games that were released, there was clearly at least an attention for certain games to come before or after right. other ones. 
So, yeah, yeah. I mean, it it may not be like exactly the way it ends up being presented, but at the very least, so, there was yeah. intention for like Wind Waker to be after Ocarina of Time. Yes. And Twilight Princess, or excuse me, and Majora's Mask. Yeah. And uh, Zelda 1, I think, is the other one that's like directly after Ocarina of Time, just based off of the way, chronologically speaking, it ends up being. Yeah. 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 Ocarina splits everything. Um, right. So, yeah. I, I think um, what seems clear to me after watching that video, maybe we can, I don't remember who the creator was. Uh, maybe you do, but maybe we can link to that video because I felt it was a pretty good uh, overview. Yeah, of, I'll see if I can find it, and if I can, I'll put it in the description link. Yeah, yeah, that'd be great. Um, but yeah, uh, um, what I feel like is there was intention as they went along to yes. say, hey, this new Zelda game is, you know, it relates to existing <laughs> Zelda games in this way. Um, and then they kind of just the timeline kind of emerged from yes. those sorts of things. That's, so that's what I think, too. Yeah, maybe they didn't plan the entire timeline from the very, <laughs> very beginning, but these games didn't exist from the very, very beginning. They just made the Legend of Zelda. So right. I think it makes a lot of sense the way they've gone about it. Yeah, I just don't think it was quite as willy nilly as it probably came across, especially with how late there was like an official timeline being brought out. Yeah, because I think around that time too, there was a lot of discussion about the timeline of Zelda, and so mm. we had a we had a bunch of like fan timelines where people were trying to put stuff together. And, oh sure, yeah. You know, a lot of these fan made timelines, not all of them, but a lot of them had these weird like shoving of games into spaces that didn't really work, but it was the only way they could go for them to be on a singular timeline. You know. Yeah, yeah, so, there, there are some kind of issues with the official timeline as well, where they just kind of had to make a call on where some things go. Right. Um, so, which is fine, really. Uh, Ow. It seems to me also, like, as far as the overall timeline uh, existing goes, that Ocarina is probably the most pivotal on that. Um, it's it's what really makes it non-linear. Yeah. I think, and... Uh, it's what makes it split as well. So it's very interesting. Yeah. And then, you know, you have Majora come out and you have this game come out and they seem to contradict, except they, they don't really, right. not really. Um, but it's like, well, these both can't happen. And then they're asserting two different things. And it's like, wait a minute. There's, there's clearly intention by the creators to do the split timeline thing here. Right. Well, especially, um, I ah, hear it is. Especially um, Flight Princess, right? Because it takes place roughly, I think, a hundred years after Ocarina of Time. Okay. I, yeah. I believe. I think that it's what it says. Hundred, maybe two hundred years. I think mm -hmm. is the like official time. Oh, the goddess Tingle it. statue. Its salty seawater coating is kind of gross. They will be waiting for you on Tingle Island. Ugh. <laughs> Isn't it great? Uh, yeah, that's one word for it. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> excuse me. But Wind Waker also takes place 100 years out of a period of time. Right. So they, they literally con conflict with each other. In They're ways parallel. That, yeah. yeah. So that, that, I think that's why there's a lot of like contention. But sure. it is what it is. Yeah, I mean, the important part is we got a lot of cool games out of it. You know, it, people are free to not not care as much about the timeline if that's not what they like about it. And right. people are free to enjoy it, uh, which is very cool. I, I like that. Whoa, that was weird. <laughs> sure was. <laughs> there we go. Zelda platforming moments. Ah. Nope. Oh. Ah. <laughs> Tricked you guys. Tricked myself too. Yeah. Uh, intentional. Absolutely intentional. Right. 100%. Uh huh. Oh, it's a cool looking room. All right.
He just yells at it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. He beckons the statue. Seeker of the Goddess's Guidepost. I didn't catch the rest of it. Oh, yeah. So, uh, Seeker of the Goddess's Guidepost. Press CR. Okay. Call me and guide me to my place of truth. Guide me to... The okay. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, now we gotta go down here and got... Oh, boy. An escort quest, kind of. Yeah. This is like escorting Dampy. Oh, yeah. In the graveyard. Yep. He's about as yeah. slow. Yeah, Dampy was really slow. Thank you. Uh, Alright, cool. Huh. Yeah. Oh, because that platform is there, you can't just carry it. Yes. That's correct. <laughs> I was like, why do you oh right. He'll just he'll smack his head on the Okay. Yep. There we go. He knows where to go. He does. Yeah, so uh, we were talking about Sheikah. Yeah, we thought maybe this is a tower built by the Sheikah at the time. Hmm. To test the courage. Because the Sheikah have always been protectors of the royal family, but they've also always tended to have a bit of a religious flair to them. Sure. Religious ninja flair. Um, yeah. Yeah. It's, <laughs> so. Yeah, it's, it's more of an Eastern type of religious flair, yeah. Yeah. Use markings to indicate. Oh, okay. Yeah. So this is our new song. song yeah, I think it's called Command Melody. Yeah. That's interesting. And we will make good use of it throughout the rest of the game. <laughs> Use this song to control other statues, like me was the gist of that, because I didn't think Got about it. the fact that I should actually read those out loud. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, oh. Yeah, he's talking about his kin, uh, is, is what I call to that. So yeah, we guide the other statues, so, right. so guessing they don't follow automatically. we got to use the command melody. Well, there, it's going to be a mixed bag of the two, so you can see this one's statue like this. This horns are different than these ones. Oh, interesting. Yeah, so... And there's three. Yep. And I'm seeing the Triforce. Hmm. Yep. Oh, this will be fun. Uh, okay. Boy. Yeah. Need the leaf. Eh. Ow. Rude. Even though I wasn't a big fan of the durability system, I do remember the leaf in Breath of the Wild fondly. Really? <laughs> I can't stand the leaf in Breath of the Wild. I had a lot of fun with it. I was, I was knocking things around. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that drives me nuts. Yeah, it was, it was good times, but uh, yeah, I, I, of course, you know, I've talked to you about this before. I got sick of the, the durability stuff. I was just like, eh, just give me a weapon that doesn't break. Right. Come yeah, on, buddy. It's, a, it's kind of a mixed bag with me. I think... I think the way Skyward Sword handled their durability is probably the maximum I'd want to deal with. Hmm. And the way Skyward Sword handles it is that the swords you wield don't have a durability to them. They won't just snap on you. The shields will, Ooh. but you can upgrade your shields and you can get like a few different types before you find the Helion Shield. So Okay, fair enough. The Helion variety. Shield is unbreakable? Yes, yeah, the healing shield becomes the unbreakable option. Okay, so the command melody looks like it works a little bit like the Hyoi Pairs. A little bit, yeah. And that you're controlling him? Yeah, that's correct. Okay, control directly. Interesting. Yep. Okay, we're going to leave him right there for a minute. Hmm. Yeah, I know... King of Red Lions wants to talk to me. Hold on a second. I'm getting a phone call. <laughs> All right. Gotta answer the call. Oh, well. Okay. He's not doing it anymore. But what he was going to do... Oh, there he goes. Hey! <laughs> Link, it is I, the King of Red Lions. I'm afraid there are some areas to which you will not be able to bring the servants of the tower. Do not fear leaving them behind. 
Once you've awakened them, they will wait patiently for you. Of this, I assure you. Huh. Such All right, then. nice statues. Yeah. Very accommodating statues. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, this is the most excitement I've seen in 200 years. I actually moved somewhere. Huh. Oh, yeah, this is our first real encounter with this enemy, I'm pretty sure. Yep. Is that a dark nut? It is. Ah. I remember these guys. First time I fought one at Ocarina of Time, I got destroyed. Yeah, they, they suck. So the trick to these guys is you have to get their armor off. Hmm. And if you notice, he's actually wearing something. I can't do it yet. Forgot his head. Uh, Come on. He's got like karate moves. He does. <laughs> you give me my sword back. There we go. That's what I wanted. There we go. Uh, okay. That was um. Courage belt or whatever it was. The the knight's crest, yeah. Knight's crest, yeah. Okay. It's neither of the words I said were in that item description, but you know what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's the enemy that drops those. Okay. That's uh that makes sense as to why it's not like get collect forty of them because they're <laughs> dark nuts. Right. Um, and there will actually come a time very soon where we will encounter more than one, to say the least. How does the how did the swings on that sword look? Are they just big, wide swings, I assume? Yeah, that's what I meant to do instead of throwing it. Oof, there you go. <laughs> and just for good measure, hold on. Oh. <laughs> so good. Looks so surprised. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, have you ever um, actually full-on struck something? Ooh, the bow. Oh, yes. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah, that was the, that's the dungeon item we were talking about. Um, like, oh, yes, the bow with those, like, eye. Yep. Eyelet. You put an arrow in them. Yep, this dungeon got a lot easier now. Or at least a lot more accessible. Yeah, for sure. Wow. That was cool. That was a heck of a shot. That was a really good shot. <laughs> <laughs> I've never done that before. Impressive. <laughs> Impressive. All right. Oh, I see the statue doesn't wait on the thing, but he waits in the general area. Right. I mean, it's like Rito. Or not Rito, Ruta. Is this Ruta? Oh, right, right. Um, right. Oh, yeah. If you've ever grabbed, like, a sword or practice sword or anything and you full-on struck something and uh, gotten direct resistance, bounced off, it really does feel just like the way <laughs> Link's expression suggests, like, oh, man. Yeah. Yeah, the, uh, it's pretty jarring. It is, yeah. Next... Well, we're going to next in just a second. We're going to go back to that one room and go ahead and grab that uh, chart. Excellent. Yeah, there's uh, two treasure charts in here, I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah. One's a little further on, but we're going to grab this one over here. Ow. Man, that thing is really hard to dodge. It yeah, like. those Bebos are a real big pain in the, in the butt. Yeah. Dum 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 pedo. Do 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 do. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Gotta do the whole waiting game. Right, here we yeah. Go. Twiddle your thumbs. There we go. Ah yes. Get out of here. Faces. Mm-hmm. All right, treasure chart. 
least I'm pretty sure it's treasure chart in here. Yeah, it pretty much has to be. Treasure chart. Oh, hello. Compass room. Yeah. There we go. Is all right. Good. Now we don't have to backtrack because there's actually no warp pots in this one, like there are in the other dungeons. Oh, that's interesting. Huh. I guess it is laid out a little bit differently here. It is. Yeah. Let's see if I can idle here long long enough without drowning. Come on, water. There we go. There you go. Alright. After that detour. Screw you. Lasered again. Oh nice. <laughs> Taught that rat who's boss. <laughs> yeah, you showed him. <laughs> Uh, we are um we are plowing through this area according to kind of our checklist here, so that's yeah. pretty cool. Yeah, we've got this area and I think like another couple of rooms after this. All right. So Um yeah, so I do find oh yeah, this is where the other one is. Hmm. Uh, we're gonna find a whiz robe in here, I believe. A whiz robe. Yeah. Eventually, we got to care of this shenanigan here first. Uh oh. We oh. <laughs> decisions were made. Decisions were made. <laughs> All right. Oh my gosh. Oh no. <laughs> there we go. It's almost like do a plunging attack. <laughs> right. Alright, so there's uh, that there. Target. Look at me, I'm a target. Yep. <laughs> Alright. Keep meaning to talk about this tower a little bit more, because it is I do find it interesting. Because it seems like the pearls were crafted specifically to create an opening for the Tower of the Gods, right? Yeah, that's what it seems like. And it rises out of the ocean. Hmm? Is there another? It's all the way over there. Yeah. There we go. So the other question I had was if there is any direct evidence that the Sheikah created this, but that may be to come here, or if it's just kind of a theory. Uh, I, I am not familiar with any real direct evidence outside of just the more like archaic technology kind of aspect of this. Yeah. Yeah, Sheikah have always had interesting tech, and of course, you know, Breath of the Wild, we've got the Sheikah Slate and all the Sheikah tech there. Right. Um, and and that's really kind of the only evidence I have for it, is that there's this place is just so distinctly unique. Yeah. It's a really cool place so far. I really like this area. I have to forgive oh. my aim. I have to use the right stick while holding a button. So I'm using my left hand to aim. Huh. Oh, that's like a hit. Jeez. There we go. Yeah, the aim in this one is a little different, to say the least. Mm. Go ahead. But you were talking about the tower. Yes. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, that's so um, I just I find it interesting because this I guess it just harps back to the what happened to the to the incarnations of the hero. Mm. Because mm, fair enough, if we had an arc incarnate hero, hero who could uh, take that that role, then you wouldn't need a tower of gods to prove courage and worth, right? 
That's true. It's almost like a new hero is being selected. Yeah, exactly. Like, this guy's got the vibe. Or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> the, the gods like the cut of his jib. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he passes the um, vibe check. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, also it's interesting with regards to the timeline. Are the gods of the Legend of Zelda, do they transcend the timeline? Are there gods that are the same gods for each universe? Well, that's a good are question. Are there different copies of the gods based on the universe's spawning kind yeah, of thing? Yeah, that's interesting. I, I never really thought about that, to be honest. I just kind of always assumed that the three goddesses were always the same. Yeah, I mean, it depends on their level of transcendence, and I don't remember if, if the Legend of Zelda universe has, like, an overall omnipotent being or something. Um, right. But that, that I would think, would be, it would be self-evident, like, there's splits in the timeline, it stands above them, that sort of thing. Right. But... Yeah, I, I sort of instinctively want to say that the gods are the same ones, and they just are looking like, okay, this universe is kind of weird and screwed up, so let's fix it by recruiting a new hero over here, while this other universe, you know, this incarnation of the hero is dealing with Ganon messing with the Realm of Twilight and all this other stuff, right. you know? I don't know that that's even... Like, I wouldn't, I would be surprised if there was a direct answer to that in the Zelda game. Oh, so. yeah, I would too. That would be very yeah. interesting. Just some weird theory crafting there. Yeah. What do we got? Treasure chart! Yeah. It also, there was some heavy implication that um, the Triforce was used to kind of make that wish to the gods. Like, hey, we need help. Oh, the Triforce was used to do I, it. I think so. It, or at the very least, the Triforce was used in, in the imagery when I was talking about praying oh, to Oh, when gods. they were praying? Yeah, okay. Interesting. And I have no reason to believe that the Triforce is not a reusable uh, artifact. Yeah, I mean, it seems to be the this universe's ultimate MacGuffin, if you will. Yeah, right. Yeah. So, that's sort of the nature of it. You can't usually wear them out. Sometimes you can, but yeah. Right. So I imagine, like, maybe when they get used, they split and kind of go back to the sacred realm or get resealed in some way. The Triforce? Yeah. Yeah. I could see that. Got some lasers going on here. Yeah, I do. They're, <laughs> they're problematic. They do look problematic. You know, just for kicks and giggles. <laughs> anyway. So, can you use the command melody on those birds, too? Uh, no, you're talking about the seagulls? Yeah, the seagulls. No, I can't. It's it's you only specific, okay. like, situations. Okay. So you still gotta use the pairs on them. Yeah. Alright. That would be wild, though. <laughs> yeah, well, it's 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 very very similar situation, right? Oh, this is that wizard you were talking about. Sure is, isn't it? Yeah, they're a lot less annoying to deal with in this one. What is that icon that keeps popping up on the top right? Does that mean you're locked on with the bow or something? In the top like right? The, yeah, the square icon looks sort of like the hook shot. Oh, I see. That's my arrow. Okay. Yeah, okay. that so um, arrow type. Yeah, that'll, I was gonna say that's arrow types. Ah, uh, okay, cool. So that's probably just like regular arrows, right? Yeah. Cool. Because in this one, when you the way to switch between them is through a, like an actual button switch versus selecting them. Uh, I think three is what I need. That's useful. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah. thinking three, because everything seems to weigh equivalent, roughly. Oh. Well, that's unfortunate. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, and they're all... All right. Oh, no. 
It's fine. It's <laughs> fine. Now, I'm actually really excited about getting through this dungeon mm. for a couple of reasons. So there's yeah. a there's a pretty some pretty big like reveals coming up. Looking forward to it. Yeah. Oh. I would as I would assume we would get some interesting stuff now that we're to this point of the game. It definitely feels like it's building. Yeah, this is a good like narrative halfway marker. I feel like. Mm -hmm. That's what it seems like to me too. Which it doesn't even seem like we're that far into the game, but that may just be my sense of like how long games are. <laughs> well, I think that's the nature of this game in particular. Hmm. Like, if I had one complaint about Wind Waker, is that it feels short. Mm, fair enough. Um, because a lot of, like, we've put, you know, 15 hours roughly into this game, but yeah. most of those 15 hours have been collecting stuff. Like, yeah. we spent, like, Ooh. six hours alone just that's going cool. around and collecting treasures and other stuff, so. Yeah, that's true, yeah. All right. And quite a lot of that. Yep. Definitely lends itself to being a really chill game. Like, you can just kind of sit down with it and relax and enjoy it. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Like, it's it's a great game. And uh, Link being a complaint really isn't a big deal, truthfully. Yeah. So. And, yeah, I mean, it'd be one thing if it was like a 10-hour game or something like, uh... Need a little bit more. Well, yeah. uh, for a Zelda game, you would need more. For something like Metroid, ten hours is really kind of right on the money. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, yeah, genre matters there. It does. But Metroids are also designed to be replayed. People speed run them like crazy. Like, yeah, that's true. Super Metroid is like one of the most um, popular speed running games. Yeah. Uh, Metro Dread's gotten really popular too since its release. Oh, really? Yeah. It's not as popular as, say, Super Metroid because there's not quite as many, like, glitchy things people can do with it. Mm, yeah. But it is... It's a good successor to that style of side-scrolling Metroidvania style. Yeah, Metroidvanias seem to make really good speedrunning games, I think. I agree. To anyone watching that is a fan of Super Metroid speedruns, save the animals or kill the animals. <laughs> oh boy. Get out of here. <laughs> what are these things over here? Ooh. Oh, just like weird. Yeah, okay. Yeah, this is this is one of those bloom effects that we were talking about, I think, in a previous episode. Yeah, they're yeah. It's it's intense, that's for sure. Yeah, normally you can see those uh, be most a little bit better. Uh, like you can't yeah. see it very well, but they actually have like a an eye that I'm aiming at. Okay. These ones are harder to hit because they don't stay still until you go buy them. Yeah, and say you. Oh, hey, a fairy, cool. Let's see if I can get that one. Nope. Oh well. Alas. Alas. Looks like we got a boss here. We do. Hmm. Yeah, this Ooh, temple is actually relatively short by comparison to the other ones. Yeah, I was anticipating it being pretty long, but no, it looks looks like it's pretty short. You have done well to find your way to this place, O oh, Chosen One. Accept this final challenge. This is the other reason why I think it's Sheikah, right? Because it's meant to be a test. It's not, yeah. there's no animosity here. It's literally just, we got to make sure you're, you're fit. And the, the lighting, it, it looks very Sheikah. You got the eye yeah. going on like, yeah, the eyes on the palms. Yep. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This is... What? A bongo bongo? <laughs> it's very similar. <laughs> yeah. Or um also the the dude in the pyramid in Mario 64 as well, but he's yeah. just the hands. Uh-oh. Yeah. Yeah. To say that this is a boss that Nintendo has used a lot is would not be an understatement. <laughs> yeah. 
No. It, it's Bongo Bongo slash the Pyramid Guy and Andros. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh. Shooting stuff out of his mouth. You got to hit his eyes. It's Andros. Hey, buddy. There we go. Ah, I got to get a bomb in there. And you put a bomb in his mouth. It's all right. Cannon. This is Andros. <laughs> yep. <laughs> He's a cool boss. I like this. Yeah. He is pretty cool. Uh, the fight kind of annoys me because it's easy to run out of arrows. Yeah, but I was going to say. <laughs> the benefit is that the boss won't let you stay without arrows. Oh, okay. There go. So he'll have to refill me here in a minute. Unless my aim is just spectacular. And these things do have the same, like, crazy motion stuff that the other hands do. I've just been knocking them out really quick. Crazy like the, motion stuff? Yeah, so like with Bongo Bongo, for instance. Mm-hmm. <laughs> have some arrows, Link. There you go. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> um, but, like, he'll hit you in... <sighs> there we go. Like, he'll smack you with his hand. Ah, okay. Um, you may not notice it either, but on the sides of the arena, there's actually, like, this electrical current mm. over here that if I land in it, it'll actually hurt me. Oh, like the purple coming up? Uh, yeah. The purple okay. now be open. Oh, chosen one. What will now come to pass is tied to your fate, to the path that you have chosen. Go forward with caution. Interesting. Mm hmm. Thanks for sneezing out those arrows for me. I appreciate it. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> 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 he just kind of tosses it. Yep, hat you. Beautiful. Heart container. Yeah, so um, much like the Bongo Bongo Arena. If you fell oh. off the, the bongo or whatever, the drum head, yeah. it would poison or hurt you. This will electrify you. Ah, uh, I see. Okay. Yep. Now where are we going? To the top of the tower. Hmm. We must do what all good games require. Ascend? As well, ascend. <laughs> but most importantly, we oh, must, we must ring a bell. We must ring the bell of awakening. Yes. <laughs> nice. Just swinging. Mm -hmm. Playing. I really do like the design of this area, though. It's very interesting. Yeah, this is a this is a really cool area. Oh, so tall. Oh, I'm so excited. What is this? Another teleporter? You've done well, Link. It would seem the gods have acknowledged you to be a true hero. But this door, or excuse me, this door, this does not mean your trials have ended here. Once you take your first steps into the world beyond the ring of light you see shimmering in the waves before you, your true trial will begin. Huh. Are you ready, Link? Nah, I think I should go. <laughs> Let's go back to Outset Island. I'm yes. bored. <laughs> so, yeah. So for well, everybody, we're going down. Yeah, everybody who suffered through all the collections, you're, this is your reward. Oh, this is interesting. Oh, wait. He could breathe underwater? That's... That, yeah. yeah. It's strange, isn't it? He got that not bad look on his face <laughs> he there. He did. He did. <laughs> Aha. Where could we possibly be? Yeah, this looks... Is this... 
Hyrule Castle? Mm. Sort of what it looks like. Look at all this land that's underneath the water's surface. Yeah. <laughs> so that's a yes to this world was flooded. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> You're probably wondering where we are, aren't you? Unfortunately, there's not enough time for me to explain it to no. you now. No, explain it immediately. <laughs> <laughs> Once you're able to strike down Ganon with the item you obtain in this castle, oh, all okay. will be made clear to you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I know what that is. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Anybody who's played a Zelda game probably does. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome, though. You trusted my words. See what awaits you in the castle. Clearly, I'm talking to Link and talking about Link's laser cannon. Yes, his he has statue, the blast his, cannon. <laughs> his Statue of Liberty laser cannon. Yep. Uh Whoa. Yeah. So uh you'll notice Whoa. the things here are um a little stuck. Frozen? Yeah. Time has stopped or something. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hyrule Castle. Those those characters and... look familiar to you? The hero, yep. Wow. Yeah. This is this is cool. Hey, look, a dark nut. Yeah, they're all just like. Hey, look, another like dark it, nut. It froze mid battle. And moblins. Moblins, yeah. Oh, oh, look, another dark nut. You're getting it. <laughs> I'm getting a oh. call. Sorry. All right, Lee. Yeah. I need you to listen to me for a moment. The item you seek is hidden somewhere in the castle. To find it, you must find the entrance to the basement. But that entrance has been blocked by a mighty threshold, firmly sealed to prevent evil from ever gaining access. Hmm. Do you know where to search and what you must do to open the hidden way? You will find a clue in the shape of the heraldry near where we arrived at the castle. It's, Fascinating. It's the, it's the Triforce. The Triforce? Yeah. yeah, okay. Look, another Dark Nut. So we, we have to get the Triforce, of course. Right, of course. I just want to make it very clear that there are a lot of Dark Nuts in here. Yeah, there's there's a ton of them. Yes. That will be important in a minute. I uh, yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. What is Oh. Oh, is this the Yeah, this is a weird um puzzle. You have to move these blocks to Match the shape. Oh. Uh, but because they're triangles, apparently they can't be pushed straight. You have to push them around the corners or something. Odd. Okay. Yeah. Hold on. I like being in the middle of this when I close it. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Oh, interesting. That's just a preference. I like being in the middle. Uh, I see. They go in. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I've been really excited for this moment. For you specifically, because I thought you'd find this place interesting. So evil doesn't know how to do that puzzle. <laughs> uh, it's a listen it's a multi-factored <laughs> authentication process okay okay you have to solve yeah. the, we have to solve the puzzle but you also <laughs> like have to get down up. here but you also have to <laughs> yeah excellent link to perceive such a puzzle to decipher it is no small feat now take the sword that lies before you it here is it none is. other than the master sword the blade of evil's bane beautiful it is the only sword that can banish ganon from the world above a master sword. Yeah, I will also say that this game has by far my favorite Ganondorf fight. This, that's an interesting looking master sword. Isn't it though? Uh-huh. Uh-oh. Oh, is this like a salute? Yeah, that's what I take it as. That's cool.
Get that good sword. Mm hmm. Now, does everything unfreeze? <laughs> what would make you think that? <laughs> yeah, here we go. So, how did time get stopped here? I mean, I guess time isn't stopped. They're all just kind of frozen or whatever. Sealed away, you could say? Yeah, there's like a magical seal. Much like the way the evil was sealed away by the goddesses. Right, yeah. Interesting. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. Keep waiting for the sides of it to come out like the Klingon Diktog dagger, you know? <laughs> Smack him in the face. <laughs> yeah. You got the Master Sword, the legendary blade with the power to repel evil, once wielded by the legendary hero himself. Well, cool. All right, oh, cool. Fantastic. I have a few things I want to show you in here before we move up. Yeah. Let's see. We got some cool stained glass stuff. That that that's that's Azora. That's also Princess Ruta. Yeah, are these the sages? Yeah, Raru. Raru. Did we pass one earlier? Hey, Saria. No, we didn't. It was a Triforce. Okay. Ah. There's, uh, I believe, Gets Ganon being sealed in the Sacred Realm, perhaps. Yeah, that. Interesting. He's got a couple swords there. Yep. Dar Darunia. Yeah. What's his name? Yeah. Yep. And Impa. Yeah, Impa. Yeah. And Aburu. Aburu. Excellent. They're all here. I just I wanted to show those off because those are really cool. Yeah, that's awesome. Very interesting. Yeah. All right, let's go fight some bad guys. Yeah. Gotta test out this sword. Yep. Hey. Ow. <laughs> Stop interfering. Get out of here. Right. I would like to point out that I just killed him a lot faster than I usually do. Yeah, that was very fast. I think it's a Master Sword kind of like roughly twice as strong or something like that. I maybe, but it's definitely I think they put these harder enemies in here to just really show off the power of that yeah. blade is like You've definitely gotten a massive power boost by yeah, getting it. Absolutely. <laughs> Get back here. Oh, it's so nice. It's so nice yeah, to not that, have to struggle with that. Yeah, that's that's very cool. You've upgraded from your Kokiri sword. Pretty much. <laughs> Ow. Alright, alright, gentlemen. Have it. Like one at a time. Take your turns. Get out of here. Thank you. This, uh... <laughs> there are so many enemies. There are. Ow. <laughs> the amount of times they hit each other is just really funny to me. You know, he's got this weapon. Yeah. Whatever, I need a weapon of some kind. Give me that. All right. All right. Doop -a -doo. Yeah, I can't leave until we clear all the enemies in here, by the way. Uh, I know that's not super clear, but like if I were to try to walk out of that door over there or Still the other door evil. yeah, yeah. It, it would it would here i'll show you it's got like a ah uh, yep a laser fence that's interesting yep it's 
so nice. So we are underwater. This yes. uh, this castle, mm -hmm. uh, clearly Hyrule Castle, um, calls out the stages of Ocarina of Time, which means this world was flooded. Yes. Uh, it's not just that islands. I mean, I guess it's possible that islands sank or something, but I, I feel like it's simpler to say the world was flooded at this point based on the evidence. Yes. So, um, and I think there is some explicit explanation here mm -hmm. um, regarding that later in the game. But right. the premise, I think, is that they pray to the gods, and because no hero could be found, they sealed Ganon away by by basically sealing the entire land. Like the goddesses flooding Hyrule sealed Ganon and his power away, to prevent him from fully breaking from the sacred realm, perhaps, or something of that nature. Hmm. But he's present at this point, right? He, he is. That's that's true. Yeah. Did he not drop one? He did not. I am very mad. Okay, that's fine. <sighs> that is upsetting. Yep. It just means I can't do it right away. Unless there's another one floating around. Yeah, his helmet never even came off. So. Well, it doesn't have to. If the orbs drop, then... Yeah. No, I know. I was just thinking if you wanted to grapple it, because it seems like it's a chance, right? Yeah. Ah, there Hopefully we go. I'm much more intentional about it. Okay, so yeah. Um, if I had successfully gotten one from all of the knights here, then hmm. I would have had ten, and I would have been able to learn a, that move. Oh. That's okay. We'll find another one eventually, and then we'll get it then. Okay. So, no big deal. Annoying, but no big deal. Fair enough. At long last, our preparations are complete. You must return to me so that we can return to the same path that brought us here. The time has come for you to save your sister from her prison in the Forsaken Fortress. Hurry, Link. Ah. Uh, yeah. Interesting. We got the sword to do it now. Sure do. <laughs> But guess what? Hmm? It's time to get some goodies. All right. Yep. So uh, we're actually going to go northwest from here. Oh, wait. Let's see if we can find the fish around here, because I don't think we actually have the... Oh, I thought I saw him in the other direction. Yeah, maybe maybe look around for a sec. I, I thought I saw him a second ago. Didn't really register with me. Get Over out. Here, so... Get out of the building here for a second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you are. Oh. Alright, cool. Yeah. Yeah, because we actually haven't filled in this square yet, and there was nothing to fill in until... Uh, oh, you have to raise the tower to fill it in? Yep. Ah, cool, cool, cool. And then <laughs> we'll go take care of Cyclos, who is also being a problem. Oh, we can do that now that we have the... The arrow, the bow, probably, yes. right? Yep. Yeah. Which is actually going to open up a whole lot of stuff for us. Excellent. I've done a fish fortune on you, small fry. <laughs> yes. Talk to the guy, <laughs> Tingle. Hi there, small fry. Oh, yeah, we got, a, we got another Tingle statue. <laughs> yes, we did. <laughs> All right, we're going to go northwest to one of the Triangle Islands, because I think one of those has Cyclos. Um, do we have a Six-Eye Reef treasure chart listed? Let's see. Uh, I think it's in our checklist. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah, uh, it's in other, yeah. Six-Eye Reef is right here. Ah, perfect. Did we, we didn't pick it up, right? I don't see it checked, so I think we have the chart. It's uh, oh yeah, it's wait, 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 wait. Treasure oh, no, chart we can, six. We can get it, is what it looks like. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, interesting. Okay, maybe. Uh, 
Oh yeah, there's some weirdness going on with the way this is. I believe we got treasure chart six in the Tower of the Gods. Yes, we did. So we just need to figure out where the. Okay. Oh, yeah, I know yeah. why it's and not showing up. You gotta open it. I gotta open the charts. Yeah, you gotta open six and thirty. You you just got thirty as well. There we go. That's another one by Pauper and Isle. There we go. There it is. I see it now. Perfect. Yeah, so we'll snag this one here. Back to six. Yeah, I'm sorry. I've been playing a different game for a while, so I had to get my brain <laughs> back on the correct buttons. Yeah. Yep. There we go. Another 200 rupees. Excellent. Yeah, so you mentioned that this Master Sword looks a little different. Uh-huh. And I don't know if you noticed, but the sword that the hero was using in the statue didn't look. have the same look as the one we've got now. Right, yeah, so specifically what I'm noticing is the guard is much more narrow. It doesn't have the fanned out guard of the Master Sword. That's correct. And yeah. the statue doesn't have the Master Sword in the same configuration. It looks like it's the more the one I'm used to. Right. So why why is that? What had yeah. something happened to the master? Is this a different Master Sword? Is it, what's going on? Yeah, just just hold on to that question for a little bit. Definitely will do. It will be answered. All right. Where? It's still really cool looking, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. There's always such a sense of like the the design of that sword is very is nothing short of iconic. It, you always feel very strong when you get it. Yeah, absolutely. Look how big the tower is. You can see it all the way over here. Yeah, that is enormous. Ah, uh, okay. I, I just switched it out, but actually... <laughs> <laughs> Ow! Oh, there. Cyclos? Yep. Yeah. It's going to make traveling so much easier. Really? Yes. All so, right. So, waiting to do the Tower of the Gods first <laughs> is understandable before you collect all these other items that we did because... Whoops. Because then you can deal with this guy and yep. then travel around and do stuff. Yep, exactly. Fair enough. I hit him three times. There we go. <laughs> so Pretty grumpy. easy. Yeah. He's huge. Well, that's a heck of an arm you got there. Is gigantic. Oh, not anymore. Yeah. What a night. No one's ever been able to spot me in there before now. You obviously have mastery of the air. And now that we've established that you're quite the wind waker, mm -hmm. let's see if you can handle this. So down, Ooh. right, left, up. Oh. Uh Ballad of Gales. Ballad of Gales. Cool. Wow. <laughs> In the hands of the Wind Waker like you, my adorable little cyclones will be as happy as can be. <laughs> if you need to move like the wind over the ocean deeps, just call my cyclones. Well, I guess I'll head for home now. See you on down the road. Right down the road. Right down the road. He's so amused when he's like, ah! All right. So <laughs> let's go ahead and show this off real quick. Cool. I'm very curious what this does. Look oh. at all these places I can fast travel to. Oh, boy. Yeah. <laughs> when I say it makes travel so much easier, it really makes it easier. Yeah, that's very helpful. So when we got hit by the cyclone earlier, we got stuck by this one here. Mm hmm. Or maybe it was even the one that we just took care of. And right. it deposited us here. Uh, so okay. he, so when we get caught by him before we can take care of him, he will mm -hmm. deposit you in one of these like nine places. Okay. 
But yeah, that, it seems like you just get put somewhere random. Right. But now that we can control <laughs> it, we're in much better shape. Ah, uh, that's cool. Yeah. So we actually need to go just north of Dragon Roost Island to the Seven Star Isles, it looks like. We will get a piece of the heart from Treasure Chest 30. Or, uh, uh, no. Wait. Paw Print Isle is Treasure Chart 30. Right. Piece of the heart. Um, but the Seven Star Isles, there is a treasure chart there that you can... Right. Okay, yeah. we'll, we'll go to Paw Print Isle first, but still. Okay. Need to go. Yeah. Fast, go. fast travel unlocked. Yes. Very cool. Now we got a treasure chart. Then there's something else here. <laughs> yeah, but we have to get another item before we can get it. Ah, uh, wait. Do we not have sixteen? We do. Oh. Okay. I just didn't remember what chart it was. So I was going down the list here. There we go. Okay. Oh, right, right, right. This one's 30. Okay. Yep. Excellent. All right. Now. Seven star. Now. Right. Now we head back. We. Yep. Seven star aisles. And I guess I'll. Go east and collect whatever island this is here while we're up here. Yeah, might as well fill it in. Yup. Will there eventually be a discovered treasure on every square? Possibly. Uh, okay. I don't really know because I've never actually gotten all the treasure charts before. Oh. Yeah. So this is some of this is a little bit new as far as like collection goes. Okay. For me. So. Fair enough. Um, as another question, is it possible? I think I saw the teleporter was still there, so you could technically go back to Hyrule Castle, right? Uh, it is is not open to us at the moment. Ah, okay. But we will we will revisit Hyrule Castle. Okay. Well, I was just wondering, like, if the dark nuts there respond or something. Oh no! Yeah, no, the enemies don't respond. Okay. Unfortunately. Yep. Unfortunately, is a treasure chart for Seven Star. Yeah, there's a platform just south of Seven Star Isles. Oh, treasure chart. okay. I went too far. I gotta go over here. Ah, gotta deal with the platform. Yep. All right. I gotta deal with some enemies. Yeah. There aren't any cannons on the sides of these. No, there are not. That's okay, though. Yeah. I won't take it personally. <laughs> Even though I really wanted to blow up more cannons. Gotta blow up more cannons. Oh. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> the way they yell. <laughs> what? <laughs> Thank you. Rupee. What a sound. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this game does have a very distinctive sound of de sound design, even among Zelda games. Need arrows. There we go. All right, cool. I think Is that that's, all of them. I think that's the last of them. I think it's three sets. So okay. We. I was I was gonna cry a little bit if I wasn't gonna make that jump. <laughs> Golden feather. Yeah, I don't need those as much. Oh. <laughs> don't Gary. don't you play with me, game? There we go. Don't don't toy with my emotions.
Yeah. Now we've got 16. Good. Make sure you open it. That's good. Good thinking, boss. <laughs> Man, I'm seeing some interesting things coming up here. What we got here? Hey, there's the fish over there. Yep. Oh, yeah. Let's see. This place requires uh, another item, too, before we get access to it. Uh, oh, interesting. Come back. <laughs> but we'll go ahead and unlock it. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> Oi. Excellent. Overlook Island. Mm -hmm. Okay. Triumph Forks. Triumph Forks? Yep. Huh. They're so triumphant. That when, makes sense. When you eat with them, you'll feel full of triumph. Yup. <laughs> anyway. Triumphant meal! It's a hero's feast. Yes. All right. Yeah, there's the flight platform and then the submarine. Ah. Is near the actual platform. Okay. Yeah. Good enough. Time to pop into this barrel. Yep. This one's got more of those mini blends. Oh, boy. That, that we love so much. Like a hundred of them. Oh, it's like really <laughs> dark in here. It is very dark in here. Yes. <laughs> so dark. It's very dark. There we go. Ah. Come out, come out. Definitely need some more arrows. I do. I'm annoyed that I haven't had any. Need arrows. Expand the arrow quiver, right? Yeah, we can. Okay. That'll be useful. That was Definite wrong. chaos going on in here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm some bait. Not what I meant to do, but I'll take it. <laughs> Alright, cool. Used all my arrows, but at least, at least I got the clear. You did. <laughs> oh, sorry. It just kills me every time. Like I accidentally throw bait. It's very, very funny. <laughs> I mean, it's it's fair. It should be funny. Yeah. <laughs> what do we got here? The platform what? chart. Does this show where all the platforms are, I guess? Yeah, I guess so. Again, mm. this is one of those things I've never really gotten before, so let's take a look at I'm it. Interested. So I know you've beaten this game before. You just kind of... You've beaten the original, right? Yeah. I, I've beaten okay. the HD version before, too. I've just never gotten all this of stuff. the... Yeah, all this ah. extra stuff. I gotcha. Ah, Wow. Just generally where the charts are, or the platforms are, not the charts. Good yep. grief. And there's, yeah. some, there's some other charts like that, too. Which, we're, you know, if you're playing this blind, finding these things are out are really helpful. Yeah. Yeah, it seems quite useful to have all these maps. Maps and charts and directions and everything. Directions! All right, let's see if we can't... I'm wondering if that's sort of why this game is so short, because... Um, if you're playing in blind, you gotta like figure out where a lot of stuff is based on your charts and everything. Right. Which is cool. It's cool design. I like it. South Fairy Island. Yeah, there we go. Southern Fairy Island. All right. We're gonna go east to Shark Island. Ooh. Shark Island. Yeah. About to do treasure chart sixteen to get. Yep. Ah, Shark Island. Cool. Yep. And I'll see if beetles sell some arrows here. That'd be useful. Yeah. 
Alrighty. Do I think we've got time for the trading sequence? Eh, I think we might. Hmm? Alright, this I is... don't know how long that takes. Up to your discretion. This yeah. is 16. Yeah. We might... Depending on how long it takes, we might start it and then finish it later. Okay. Thankfully, this is not one of those things where you can't... Like, you can interrupt it. It's not going affect it a great deal. That's good. I know the trading and upgrade of time. You gotta book it. <laughs> yeah. Woohoo! Jump for joy! I have the f starting flower that comes with this Zanari trading sequence. Ah, cool. So, um, the, the piece of heart here. Yeah, no, it is part of the trading sequence. Okay, cool. Yeah. Looks like a, a trading sequence. There's a final reward. There's a piece of heart. Yep. So the and first place there's... we're going is Great Fish Isle. All right. I quite enjoy this fast travel. Yeah, me too. Zoom. King of Red Lions, so dizzy. <laughs> yeah. Uh... So I, I do find it a little funny that you were talking about Gorons earlier. Mm hmm Because we are about to encounter a Goron. Really? Yeah. That's exciting. Oh, hey, buddy. There are exactly three Gorons that I'm aware of in this game. Wow. Yep. That's so funny because of the tone of this game. It's It's very, you know, kind of lighthearted but it's sort of post-apocalyptic too <laughs> yeah a little bit like check out this guy's bucket hat and shirt that's too small hey buddy yeah. i'm what you call a travel merchant yes i'm just a cheery fellow who bobs between waves in search of all manner of rare items cracked and pristine wild and wooly i came from a distant land because i heard there was a treasure of great worth on this island but i can't find a thing i thought perhaps my fate would cross with that most mystic of rare items the fabled shop guru statue but it seems as though I'm off the mark yet again. By the by, for some reason, looking at the delivery bag of yours gives me the sneaking suspicion that it might have some rare treasure hidden in its depths. If you have anything even slightly out of the ordinary in there, would you mind trading it with me? Anything at all? This knapsack I'm lugging around is stuffed full of all sorts of wondrous things. Why don't you show me what you got, and I'll show you what I'll trade for it. Okay. So, so we only have the one town flower. Mm. A town flower, is it not? In that case, would you be interested in this sea flower? Oh, interesting. Most worthy. Then my fee will be... Well, I suppose 20 rupees will do. That settles things. I'll give you an item as promised. Hold out both hands. Yeah, so there's different prices too, unfortunately. Mm. Um, but the most expensive being 200, roughly. Okay. So we've got plenty of money to spare to do it. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> From a far off land, so by trading your goods for my goods, we'd be merch formed a merchant's oath. As such, from now on, I shall honor our merchant's oath by sending shipments of my product to the Windfall Island shop. How you ask? Why, my good pal, the postman, uh -huh. will take it there for me, so it will likely get there before you do. Just head back to Windfall and see for yourself. Thanks again. Okay, so we're helping uh, what's his name expand his business as well. Exactly. Yep. Nice. All right. So, oh, <laughs> hold on. I'm not done here, apparently. Oh. <laughs> hey, buddy. Shop guru, heart filled reward. Another truck. Anyway. Okay. We can trade the sea flower with him for another item, too. We just got it for. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> That's uh, funny. This exotic flower. Sure. Okay, then we'll go to the bomb island. Ah. I'll give you okay. a huge deal on this 25 rupees. Thanks. It's a deal. <laughs> I'll give you an item as promised. Hold out both hands. Yeah. So later, if you really want to, you could theoretically exchange those flowers we dropped down in those spots with different like pennants and stuff that we'll pick up along the way here. Oh, uh, okay. Just change the decoration. Yeah. And there's uh, like, I think Outset Island has some too. There's various places that will have these um, spots. Sure. Yeah decoration spots that's kind of cool okay bomb island is yep 
because so there's a platform by Mother and Child Isle. There's one by the Great Fish Isle, and there's one by the Bomb Island. That's where they all are. Okay, then. Are these also Gorons? It's supposed to be. He's supposed to be right here. Where are you at? Where? Where'd he go? <laughs> where are you at? Oh, he's he on. He's actually on the island. Okay, oh. my bad. Hey, buddy. He saw the tasty rocks to eat, so he uh, yeah. came up here. Look at these. I love these guys' character design. They're so good. Yeah. He's so... That... What's up, bud? Big in the hat. Can I trade with the hat? Hey, yeah. have we met somewhere before? Aren't you? No, couldn't be. Me? I am a poor traveling merchant. I travel the world searching for rare objects of all sorts, modern and ancient, foreign and exotic. Dream has always been to someday open my own shop. The plans have a way of getting delayed, and now it's been 30 years since I started. Wowzers. Certainly laughs at all. Time certainly laughs at all of us, huh? And still, day in and day out, rain or shine, it's been my days looking for curiosities and rare items. Which reminds me. You have to have something of quality that we can sell at the shop. Is there trading it? Yep. Trade. Yep. This would be 55, I think. No, maybe 25. Mm. We'll see. All right. 25 was the last one, I think. Yep. Ooh. Sickle moon flag. 40 rupees. All right, okay. Hmm, gee, uh... Thanks for settle things. Let's <laughs> hold out both your hands. All right. Nice. Another merchant's oath. Yep. I really like that I don't have to go back to Windfall for each trade. Yeah. Yeah, that's very good. Okay, and then we're going to talk to him again. Hey, remember that sickle flag you gave me? Yep, now we're going to get a fountain <laughs> idol from him. All right. It's a little silly that you trade him. Oh, that's cool looking. Uh, that you trade him uh, the thing he just gave you, but I guess the alternative would be having to go between them constantly. Each time, yeah. This, yeah. this is like the most peak route. Like, there's a whole chart of what they'll trade and what they have available. Mm. So, okay. So, like, if I went to the Bomb Island trader first, he would give me the Sea Flower. Oh, I'll give you the Sea Flower for the Town Flower. But then the Sea okay. Flower can get you an Exotic Flower a town or a Town Flower, depending on where you go. So, the optimal route is what we're doing right now. Oh, interesting. All right. Yep. All right. I guess we'll... Since we're here and all... <laughs> save ourselves having to do it later. Um, is there a reason why they both have their right eye exposed only? Not that I'm aware of. Okay. I think that's just a choice. A choice was made. Yep. All right, let's get these last islands. All right. If I recall correctly, he'll probably say something about Triumph, Funks, Triumph Forks here as well. <laughs> what about Triumph Spoons? Nope, no triumph spoons. Just triumph forks. That's right. Bird's Peak Rock. Ah. Oh. <laughs> triumph knives. <laughs> what about triumph plates? Triumph sporks. Oh, this is the other fairy island. Okay. Oh, cool. So this is the eastern fairy island. So I guess we went to the western one. Western and southern mm. one before. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds right. Where? Last square on the map. There it is. There he is. Last bait. I'm going to throw it at a rat instead accidentally. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. There we go. Oh, you smell free. You've got an achievement. Map filled in. <laughs> That'd be funny if if we had achievements. That's <laughs> just random pop-ups. Right, yeah. Golden feathers? Now nah, I'm good. Go, go, go. Got go, that go. all taken care of. All right, we got to go to Mother and Child Isles. Enough with that guy. Get our map filled out. Mother and Child Isles, okay. Yep. But we can't cyclone there directly because it'll take us to the island. Remember how I told you before that there's a specific way to get, like, onto the island for Mother and Child oh. Isles? Oh, yeah, yeah. The Cyclone is the way to do that. 
Oh, interesting. So you have to use the cyclone to get onto it. Yes. Conversely, huh. if you want to get to a place beside it, like we're trying to do now, you have to go the long way. Okay. How crazy would it be if uh, you do this trading sequence and then you immediately get, like, the big Goron sword? Like, it's better than the Master Sword, which you just got. Ah! Right. Well, you do get a really good item from this, so... Yeah. Hey, bud. Again, right eye. Yeah. Is yeah. left left eye? Or, yeah, left eye, I'm sorry. Yep. Our right, his left. Yep. Uh, same, basic same thing as before. Detect a scent wafting from this island that suggested to me that there might be something of value here. So I sailed my tiny raft all this way from far, far away. But the high rocks wall on the main island blocks my way, so it seems as though I won't be able to reach much further. What a disagreeable turn of events. However, my boy, that delivery bag of yours smells to me as if it might as well be the home to rare and unique items. If you have any curious curios that might be worthy of selling in a shop, might you trade them to me? Curios, yes. Someday I'm going to open myself a shop, a huge shop, a no, a mega superstore. I'm going to try to find goods to sell. You can show. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> show me what you got. Show me what you got. Ooh, big sail flag. Yeah. Oh boy. Let's do 35. it. I'm gonna go back to the Great Fish Isle merchant here, which we will get the hero's flag. So is this guy only one? Uh, he's got one other one, but we'll have to come back for it. Ah, okay. Alrighty, so uh, this trading sequence to get the piece of heart. Remember how one of the Gorons was asking about a sh uh, a shop guru statue? Yeah, that is going to be the the main um, crux of our trading. Okay. And is this also going to fill out everything in uh, in his shop in the shop guru shop? Uh. I believe so, because I'm looking at the list of stuff here. Mm -hmm. uh, big catch flag might be the only thing we won't get from this set of trades. I gotcha. So it, it should fill it out quite nicely. And when we get back to Windfall, because that's where we'll get our last item from Zanari, mm -hmm. um, we'll, we can take a look at what he's got so we can see all the different options. That's cool. Yeah. Hey, buddy. Listen, I got this for you. <laughs> Big sail flag. You want the hero's flag? Yeah. Nice. Sure. That one's cool. 75. Yeah, I guess if you're hurting for money, this can be a little expensive. But yeah. We're not. <laughs> yeah, that's the other reason why we took so much time to collect all of that. Mm -hmm. So it's definitely worth doing it all up front if you can, but yeah. Hey, I got this hero's flag from some Goron, <laughs> and I was hoping that you could. <laughs> Postman statue. Could this all be the same Goron? I, I know, right. <laughs> Hundred rupees for this one. Oh boy. But we know. Well, only is. We know a Goron who wants some uh, unique curios, so... That's true. Never much Rinse Oath. There we go. Thanks again. Excellent. Yep. I don't think it's going to be much slower than to just coast through one square north. Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, just coast through the square and get up here. Ah, uh, mother and child, yeah. Yep. So, yep, we need to give the postman statue to the mother and child Isle merchant. For that, we'll get the shop guru statue. Ooh. We'll give the shop guru statue back to the uh, great fish Isle merchant, and then we will return to windfall. Ooh. Yeah, so there, um, for the withered Deku trees, mm -hmm. we can fill up one bottle, and it doesn't like deter. It, it doesn't empty the bottle per use. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah, it'll be really handy. 
because the bottle has like a timer on it. Oh, it's like a, so you gotta. It's like a twenty minute it. timer. Um, which you mean it, it's not gonna hurt you if you miss one. You can go back and get the water or whatever. But <clears throat> sure, gotta have the specific water. Right. <laughs> it's a statue of him. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. So good. Like, there are statues of me? I will sell them in my shop. Right. <laughs> it's a rare postman statue. <clears throat> All right. Legendary items. And so. Fish. Oh, my. Whoops. Spinny, 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 spinny. There we go. Uh, all right. Hey, where are you going? Over here. That's where we're going. <laughs> the wrong way. Ah. But yeah, I mean, given my propensity. <laughs> <laughs> hey buddy so Found this really weird looking statue you want it yeah i know you've been looking for this so here you go is is that it couldn't be the shop guru statue such a divine figure surely this is none other than the legendary individual who reigns at the peak of the business world oh most worthy day <laughs> wow my lifelong dream has at long last come true such joy this is my thanks to you for fulfilling my dream. It's a heart-filled reward brimming with gratitude. All right, hold out your hands. Yeah. Ooh, One more to another increase. Yep. That's cool. Bye, but I've received a worthy Ivan. Tonight I will hold this close to my bosom as I sleep. I can't wait. <laughs> we just helped him establish his shop. <laughs> like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he doesn't have to know that. That's right. He's already a legend. He's truly a genius. The man, the myth, Zanari. Yup. Business acumen unmatched. Yeah. Hundred percent. That's cool that, uh, you know, the tornado. That's how tornadoes work, right? They just <laughs> transport you places. Right. Handy. All right. Get our last item here. Our sloppy docking job there. I parked better than the last time. That's true. <laughs> Don't you judge me. Uh, hmm. All right, it's gotta be daytime. Ah. Uh, man, lots of uh, interesting, exciting developments in this episode. Actually, mainly one. Uh, that whole Hyrule Castle sequence is really, really cool. Yeah, I remember the first time I saw it playing this game, and I was just like, what? It's <laughs> so strange. Look how long his his bench has gotten. All the items. And he's got like this um like awning and stuff too. Yeah. He's expanding. Yes, yes, young master. Look, already my shop has a wide variety of products to choose from. It's a cornucopia. Thanks to you, young master. Every morning the postman comes with packages from traveling salesmen you traveled you traded with. At last, my humble stall has the appearance of a full-fledged store. My dear, your unflagging dedication has strengthened my determination to live my life to, for the success of my business. Master, you are the savior of my stall. I must thank you for the very bottom of my heart. This is my most prized possession, next to my hoodie coat, of course. It is none other than the Zunari family treasure. Please accept it. Right. Magic, Magic armor. armor! Uses rupees. Yes, so in... The original game, the GameCube mm -hmm. version, it used your magic meter. Oh, interesting. And I really oh. hate that change. Yeah, I, I would prefer the original. Yeah, me too. Oh, Exclude boy. the lovely sail if purchased from me earlier, of course. His magical heirloom, one that calls up a mysterious power to protect your body from harm. Of course, you can use it even when you are sailing the open seas. My dear, please use this to protect yourself as you seek out more merchants, I beg of you. And please, be on the constant lookout for new and exciting products. Not that I have anything left to reward you with, if you find any. 
So, is that Nehru's love? I mean, like, essentially, that that essentially, it's what it's going to boil down to. Yeah. Um, okay, makes like a little like polyhedron around you kind of thing. Okay, yeah, it doesn't look the same, but it works the same way, I, I assume. Yeah, so if I got hit... So, actually, um, Twilight Princess's magic armor mm -hmm. works like that. The, yeah. the red magic armor, you know, like, you get hit and get rupees So, that's everywhere. what I was... Yeah, that's what I was anticipating it being, was a set of armor, but no, it's like a, a like magical shell yeah. thing. Interesting. It is cool, though. It's a, it's a cool little item. I don't ever find a need to actually use it. Yeah. But That's, yeah, it doesn't seem like like I don't know. I'm sure there could be a scenario, but yeah, it doesn't seem like it's overly useful. But if you're, there's some fights you're like really struggling with, um, yeah, it'll save you. And if you just don't care that your rupees are literally uh, burning a hole in your pocket with it, then yeah, that's good. Yeah. yeah. So it's fair enough. For the Forsaken Fortress, no. I tell nope. you, no. Biz I'm very busy. I am busy laying in the grass. Anyway, that's it for now. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining us. We hope you've been having a good time. I know I've been having a blast, and we had some good story developments. So, like I Absolutely. said, next time we'll take care of our Withered Deku Trees uh, side quest, mm -hmm. and then I believe it'll be straight to the Forsaken Fortress from there, and then a couple of upgrades after that. So we're... The, the amount of collections left are much less than the last three episodes so you don't have to worry too much about that yeah it definitely does look like we're um, ramping up into a more story intensive there's some collection but it's not nearly as much right so. yeah the uh the story is going to pick up pace for a little bit and then after the next two dungeons it might slow down just a, just a smidge mm, but fair enough but not a, not a ton in the meantime Again, thank you so much for hanging out with us. If you have been enjoying what you watch, then please hit all the buttons, like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, let all your friends know how awesome we are. Um, you know, all of that. And check out our other series. Leave us comments on what you think about what's happening in this game or in our other series like Xenosaga and our, our tea times. Xenogears. Xenogears. <laughs> yes. Sorry. Yep. <laughs> I'm tired. Sorry. That's okay. Link's tired too. We saw him stretching there. Right. One of, one of the Xeno <laughs> games. <laughs> Xeno Gears. Xeno um, Gears. Right. Yeah. Xeno Gears, Skies, all that. And yeah. In the meantime, hope you have a wonderful day. And we'll see you all in the next video. Have a good one, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye bye now. Diddly diddly do 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 do. Thanks for watching.